All right, this is They All Saw a Cat, Brendan Wenzel. All right, um, Brendan Wenzel wrote this book called They All Saw a Cat. And it's true, but we've been talking about perspectives and how every single person, animal, creature, um, is going to see things from their own perspective. And this book does a really nice job with that. And so um, when you see a cat, what do you see? And that might be different than so what someone else might see. And so this is our book, They All Saw a Cat. So the cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears, and paws. And it feels like that just looks like a cat. And the child saw a cat. Now, a child that loves this cat, you know, maybe the features are much softer and happier, bright, big eyes, fluffy. But what if somebody was afraid of the cat? What if somebody um, just didn't like cats? Would that cat look different to them? What if it's the dog? And the dog saw a cat. How did that change? You know, the first picture of the cat to the second one, his features got much softer and bigger, big eyes. Here, the eyes are really big, but the rest of the animal is really scrawny. Um, something that the dog feels like, oh, well, I could easily beat him. I could catch him. What if it's a fox? And the fox saw a cat. So the fox here, he's thinking, well, this might be fast, but I don't think he's fast enough. He looks young, too. But yes, they all saw a cat. Every one of them was a cat. The cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears, and paws. But how does it change if it's a goldfish? And the fish saw a cat. Well, the fish is looking through a bowl, and the fish is looking at the cat as if it might be eaten. So that cat looks a lot different. What about the mouse? The mouse is terrified. And the mouse saw a cat. But the mouse is going to see that cat a lot differently. Sharp, sharp claws, terrifying um, teeth here, whiskers, yeah, dark yellow eyes, scary. What about the bee? The way a bee sees the cat, and the bee saw a cat. It's going to look different. Yes, they all saw a cat. The cat walked through the world with his whiskers, ears, and paws. And now, here's the bird. Now the bird's way up high above, so the cat looks quite different. He's below, but he looks big, even from above. And he looks like he's wide and everything. Um, and the bird saw a cat, because that bird is probably afraid too. But again, different perspective. And the flea saw a cat. So that tiny flea, is gonna, that's going to be a different perspective of that cat as well. He's going to see the hairs, and they're going to look really big. The body itself is going to look very large. He's going to be far away from the head. He's going to keep far away from the head, too. <sighs> what about a snake? Well, the snake might worry about, is the cat going to come after him? Or a skunk? Well, maybe the skunk can't see in colors. And the snake saw a cat. And the skunk saw a cat. And the worm saw a cat. And the bat saw a cat. Yes, they all saw a cat. Yes, they all saw a cat. A child and a dog and a fox and a fish and a mouse and a bee and a bird, and a flea, and a snake, 
and a skunk and a worm and a bat. The cat knew them all and they all knew the cat. And the cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears, and paws. Then it came to the water. And what do you think it's going to see? And imagine what it saw. So there it is looking at its own water refle watery reflection there. And they all saw a cat. So you're going to use that when you're thinking about different perspectives and points of view.